I'm stuck at my rank because when I solo queue, I either get a thrower or a diamond grouped up with a gold that doesn't know what they're doing. Why am I stuck at my rank? Teammates in solo queue, enough said. Well, if there's five DPS that won't change and it's not working, how can that be my fault? Because my teammates think Soldier is a healer. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the terrible voice. I am Stylos and this is Unit Lost. So, what I want to talk about in this video is competitive RNG. It is a major thing. And this is something which has honestly not really been covered that much. I've definitely not covered this. But it is a very real and present danger. So what the hell is this? Well, it's quite simple, right? Overwatch has a large element of randomness, especially when you play in solo queue, because you don't know who the hell you're going to get on your team. The way the system works is it will look at your MMR. It will look at their MMR. It will look at your SR as well, because obviously it's, well, MMR and SR kind of go hand in hand in a way, so it kind of really doesn't matter. So just for the sake of this, let's say SR. So it's going to go, oh, right, you're a 3,000 rated player. Let's find some other 3,000 rated players, stick it together in a game, and let's go. And you can play against a load of other 3,000 rated players, and that's awesome. The problem is, with all of this, is what happens if, like in this example you can see on the screen right now, you get two, and that's right ladies and gentlemen, two Mercy mains that only ever play Mercy and have got hundreds of hours on Mercy. What do you do then? <laughs> like, what do you do then? An argument breaks out, can I have Mercy? And the other Mercy's like, no. And then you've got a guy who literally cannot play any other hero in the game has to play something else and literally, well, and just can't. So then you probably are going to lose the game. And we actually won this game, so it kind of didn't actually go that bad. But yeah, that's a very, very real issue with the game. And that's a whole other issue with role selections and things like that. Because honestly, I believe if we did have a role selection queue, or, you know, we could go into the queue and I could say, look, I want to play DPS, that it would look at matching me with healers and tanks and maybe another DPS or whatever. That would be probably a good system. The problem with Overwatch is you need to keep changing your team. Like, and obviously you might start as DPS, but then end up as a healer. That's happened to me or start as a tank and end up as DPS. That happens. So that is a whole other kind of complex issue. And I think Jeff has actually addressed that before in the past. Anyway, the whole competitive randomness, it is real, guys. It is absolutely real. You can, in fact, you know what? You know what? Screw this. I've got evidence for this. My lowest account is uh, somewhere in Masters, right? My highest account is literally 500 points higher than that account. How can that be real? Like, how can that be real? Like, the same person is such in such wildly different SR ranges when it's the same person. Well, it's because the people on that person's team are not the same people. I know that it's going to be a very good chance that I'm going to win a game if, when I pick a hero, the team start picking heroes and we build a team that's going to work. Maybe we're on King's Row, first point attack, and I see a dive comp, and I'm like, wow, okay, this is going to be great. And it's the perfect team build, and we go in there and we do very well. Because, of course, we know team builds are awesome. The problem is, though, people want to play the heroes they want to play. And you absolutely have to get down on your hands and knees and just pray, like, please, please, baby jeepers, or any other kind of religious thing that you may pray to. Uh, obviously, I pray to Jeff. Please, please, Daddy Jeff, please, before every game, let it, please, Dad, please don't give me a Hanzo main. Although, to be honest, I don't mind Hanzo mains, but please don't give me three Hanzo mains on the same team. Please, please, thank you. Uh, yeah, it happens, right? This will happen. The thing is, though, how the hell do we deal with this and what do we do about it? Well, I've been on a bit of a... This actually has been the reason why I've made a couple of videos quite recently on the channel. I've been on a, not a losing streak, but I guess you could call it a stagnation streak. And it's really annoying on a certain account. Um, I'm playing on it and I'm not really getting anywhere. But I know, because I've got completely hard evidence from other accounts, that I can play at a much higher level. Well, not a higher level, but I can get more SR, basically, right? And it's really frustrating me because I go into a game and then it's a defeat. Why is this game a defeat? Oh, well, we had a troll. Some guy decided that he wanted to play Tor Torbjorn, even though it wasn't the best pick at that moment in time, so whatever, we had to deal with it. We go into the next game, everything is fine, then the next game we get the same sort of issue, and then it's just back and forth, and you feel like you're going nowhere, and this, to me, is a really big problem with Overwatch, because if you think about Overwatch, right, it's okay me sitting down and saying to you, hey guys, um, you are where you belong, well I don't actually say this, but I'm, I've heard this said around, but you, if you can't get any better at the game, if you can't increase in SR, maybe that's just your cap. I don't agree with that. I think that's complete crap, right? The sky is is the limit with Overwatch. You don't have to just, oh, I'm in gold, so I'm just in gold forever. That's not fair. I don't agree with that at all, and I don't think anybody should subscribe to that at all, because that's just, that's just ridiculous. I hate that thinking. 
But we have to be real here because you do go on massive losing streaks as a result of, well, bad players. But what I don't want people to do is blame bad players on their team for the reason they keep losing games. Because I honestly also believe there is always something you can do in a game which will increase your chances of winning that game. Even if you are up against it, even if you've got trolls, even if you've got... a uh, pretty questionable team comp and things like that you can still try and do something to get yourself out of this now I, again obviously i can go back to the evidence which i used earlier on in this video with my different accounts all over the place it's still me playing them and it's still me predominantly playing the same heroes on those accounts so why would it be so radically different in terms of well where those accounts are placed it's because it's random and you just need to accept that you just need to think to yourself okay it's fine um so what? I've lost 200 SR. It's fine. I'm just going to keep playing the game. I know there will be a certain point where I cannot go any lower because my skill level, and this is the same for absolutely everybody, it doesn't matter where the hell you are, there is a point where you will not go any lower because you will be just way better than the enemy team on that hero that you play, right? So you'll be able to just basically carry and this will happen yeah i mean you can watch this in like extreme cases where if you look at professional gamers they all just go straight into the top 500 it's easy to them because they play at a level above top 500 so when they play the game if they're playing in a master level game they would just wreck everybody in the game or it would be quite clear that they're a very good player they, they wouldn't be able to solo it don't get me don't get me wrong there but they'd have a massive impact on the game because their skill level is so high and it's the same for everybody else. You have a level which you will never go below. But it's about getting beyond that level. And there is a way you have to deal with this stupid randomness in, in competitive. And this is how you do it. And this is no secret either, ladies and gentlemen. This is... I don't want to say it's fact, but this is just, it's about mentality. What you've got to do is accept that you're going to have these people in your teams. We go back to the quotes at the start of this video. Well, if there's five DPS on the team, that won't change and it's not working. How can that be my fault? It's not your fault. Why do you even think this is your fault? That is not your fault. Whatever. You've got these people in your team. Just like, yeah, do whatever you can do. I've been in a game where I had five DPS, right? Um, it was on Ilios. I think I tweeted about this, actually. And I played Anna. I was like, there was no support. There was no tanks. It was five DPS. And I'm like, what in the hell? I, I said to them, guys, can we have a tank maybe or another support? They just said nothing. So I'm like, okay, what can I do? Well, Anna's probably the only character that I can play to try and cover this team. And we won. And actually, we completely wrecked the enemy team because there, there was just too much DPS. The DPS was just diving into their backline and killing them. It actually worked out. So that's, again, an example of, yes, it isn't the meta team, but it worked okay because because maybe it was me that actually made the team win because I was like, okay, we need a healer. Because without a healer, what are we going to do? We're just going to die. And it worked in that way. You know, then we look at other quotes like, why am I stuck at, at, at me rank? Why am I stuck at me rank? Teammates in solo queue. Yeah, well, yeah, but you can't keep blaming the teammates. You can, right? When it goes wrong, you can say, okay, it, it was their fault. You know, I've blamed teammates in this video. Yes, it was that Torbjorn's fault, whatever. It was this Symmetra's fault. It was that McCree's fault. You know, you're going to get that, right? Is that Genji's fault? Who cares, right? Don't dwell on this though. And then you suffer from a compound issue. This is, you start like building the pressure up on yourself because you go into the next game after the last game you've just played where you've had this troll or whatever, this guy that's through the game and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, you, st you, you kind of start to not care as much, which isn't right. And then that starts rubbing off on your team and it's like a domino effect, right? Then if you lose that game or if something happens in that game that you don't agree with, maybe you just swap to a random hero like, oh, screw it. I'm just going to play Hanzo even though, you know, he's not going to work at this point. I don't care. I'm just going to play him, whatever. I'm playing with now screw you guys those guys then get affected by your actions and then potentially go ahead and do that in their next game so it's like this massive issue but the fact remains guys there is a very large random element when it comes down to the current way overwatch competitive is handled this is the dynamic queue which love it or hate it the reason why it's there is so we get fast games problem is it means you're relying on this putting you into a game with teammates that are willing to work together the fact is these teammates should be of a similar skill i'm choking because i'm so incensed similar skill level to you right that that is a fact right based on what the system thinks so don't think they're subpar to you don't think these guys are below me i'm better than these guys because that's not the case the way you win games of overwatch is if your team is capable of building a proper composition at the start of the match and that doesn't mean 
playing a stupid, like, meta build. Even if you've never played Winston in your life, but now you're going to play Winston because you know it's the dive comp meta and you don't want to play Reinhardt. That would be stupid. You've got to play the heroes you know how to play, but you have to build a team that's going to work. And a team with a ton of DPS probably isn't going to work. Once in a blue moon, yeah, like the Anna example I gave, it could work, right? But it's not going to work all of the time. And in those cases where this happens to you, just accept it and just move on and go into the next game and completely forget about the other game. A very wise man once said, rank doesn't matter, and it's true, right? But also losing doesn't matter, and even to some extent winning doesn't matter, because this game currently has a pretty flawed system when it comes to putting you in games with other people and actually being able to build a competitive team around that that's actually going to play together because it's all well and good saying these guys are of a similar skill level but if you've got two mercy mains on your team or three soldier mains or four so i don't know i don't even know right but if you've got multiple people on the team who only play the same hero this is where you have a ton of problems and you lose the game guys i could go on about this all day i want you to let me know of any other rng issues in the comments below you can see on the screen i have listed a few you either get carried you carry the team toxicity trolls multiple mains in the video that you have been watching in the background this was a very interesting game because i had some very good moments but some very bad moments so you could say at times yes i was doing my part but at other times the team were definitely carrying me and these are the games that when you get those that give you the SR which propel you further up the ranks and is that fair? Well it works both ways doesn't it? You do get bad teams, you do get good teams, you do get trolls, the enemy team get trolls, the enemy team get levers, you get levers. There's a whole host of complex issues which have to be mashed together in the Overwatch matchmaker but the fact is guys and I keep saying it in this video, the fact remains there is a large RNG element to Overwatch competitive so don't get yourself down about it. If you go into a game and there are a couple of guys who just want to throw the match for whatever reason, it's fine. Just play through the game, try and focus on the hero you're playing, try and become slightly better with the hero, and then go into the next game with a fresh mindset. Don't dwell on what has just happened, and don't take that into the next game. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salosa, and this is Unit Lost. You can follow me on Twitter if you like, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. You can also join the Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost, which is probably the biggest Overwatch Discord. I mean, I, I don't have any evidence for this, but I'm just going to claim it is. It's massive. We've got over 10,000 members. It's absolutely beautiful, and I will catch you on the next one, guys. Toodaloo.